thank you for joining. Today I'm at Missoni Baya Sales Gallery, and to my left is Rafa Gonzalez. He's the in-house sales director for the sales gallery here. I am. And you've been on the project for how long? Oh, I've been in Missoni Baya for a little over six years. Wow, so, so you know it inside and out. Know it inside and out. And we were saying off camera how this is a, an exciting time because you recently received TCO, what, I believe Monday? That is correct. Uh, we just got TCO for floors 8 through 36. Congrats. Exciting time. Um, I think it'll be the first project to be delivered. Uh, I think the last one was over two years ago. Mm -hmm. So in the area of Edgewater. So, um, Probably even greater downtown Miami. Yeah, correct. In greater downtown Miami. That's, a, that's an important fact. So we're excited that taking the time. A, this is the first uh, building, a residential building branded by Missoni, mm -hmm. uh, which is a very high end fashion line, uh, Italian line. And all the units have beautiful water views, which we'll be able to tour for you guys in a minute. Um, uh, we still have three units available for sale from the developer. A, we have a two two bedrooms plus dens available uh, around 2,400 square feet. Uh, and we also have the penthouse available. The penthouse is actually a large unit. It's a three bedroom plus den over 3,500 square feet with a huge wraparound terrace. And what are the pricing on those three units? Uh, great question. So the two bedroom in a, in a den or a study, it's around, it's starting at 3.850. Um, and then we have the penthouse available for sale at $10 million finished, or if you like it designer ready, at eight and a half million. Fantastic, and how many total units in the entire building? Great question. Uh, the building is 56 stories, uh, 249 residences. Okay. Uh, the building will have um, anywhere from one to four bedrooms, mm -hmm. four bedroom units. Um, every single unit in the building will have water views. Okay, fantastic. The, yeah, the terraces, you have nice deep terraces. Um, the east side units has 10 foot deep terraces and even the west side wow. units have eight foot deep terraces. So as you know, in Miami, you don't get that kind of terrace really mm -hmm. in anywhere. So um, it's really exciting. Uh, besides that, um, the building has over 30,000 square feet of amenity space. Wow, incredible. Um, so this is, uh, this is being developed by Oco Group. Mm -hmm. um, Oco Group is a very world renowned re developer um, led by Vladis Dornan. He has built over 75 million square feet of, uh, of real estate, including commercial, residential, and hotel space. Mm -hmm. um, he's also the owner of the exquisite uh, luxury brand, the Amman Resorts, uh, which is very uh, well known as well. So um, this will be his first building in Miami mm -hmm. uh, for Missoni, and his second building actually is Una Residences, located mm -hmm. in the area of Brickell, currently under construction as well. And he's also doing an office tower here in the area of Brickell called 830 Brickell. Mm -hmm. It's a class A um, office tower in the financial hub of Miami. Yep. So that's also looking to be delivered soon as well. Yeah, that building is looking fantastic as well. And there's a lot of great tenants that have signed on. That's going to bring a lot of high paying jobs to, to the Miami area. So that's something to look forward to. I actually have a lot of clients that bought in Brickell when that news was announced because they know that there's going to be so much like employees relocating to yeah. the area that have high paying jobs that is going to bring a lot of money and uh, wealth into the area. So yeah, that's yeah, exciting. We're, we're well. exciting. We're excited about the building. The architecture is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. It looks like a glass container rising along the bay. Um, the columns, you know, I just want to talk about the architecture a little, uh, in, in a minute because it's very important. It's being done by Ascento Architecture led by Hani Rashid. Mm -hmm. um, the towers is actually like a glass container rising along the waterfront okay. um, with the corners of the building alluding to sails of sailboats. So architecturally, I think it'll be the most beautiful building in the area of, of this area, um, mm -hmm. of the area of uh, Edgewater. And you were talking about the 30,000 square feet of amenities. What, what does that entail? Uh, great question. So it includes three pools, uh, one Olympic size. Uh, we're also gonna have a tennis court, we have a club room, we have the movie theater, we have a kids club, we're gonna have a spa, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, steam room and sauna. Um, everything that you can think of, Missoni will have. Um, the lobby is going to be really quite impressive. You have a triple height lobby as well. Um, you have 20, 200 square feet of linear square feet along the bay. Okay. So the minute that you come in through Missoni, you're going to have the amazing water views. Uh, the entrance is going to be very grand. You have a beautiful porter cachere as you enter the building. Um, huge double doors as you enter. Um, Missoni is definitely going to be a landmark for this area. And for the audience watching at home, let's talk about location. Official name is Missoni Baya. Missoni Baya, we're located in Edgewater. Mm -hmm. um, Edgewater is, um, let's say, about five minutes north of downtown Miami. Mm -hmm. um, it's an area that sits between 17th Street and 36th Street, um, east of Biscayne Boulevard. 
Um, we're literally 10 minutes away from MB Beach. Uh, we had the Venetian Causeway just south of us, five minutes away from us. That gives you, leaves you over by Lincoln Road Mall. Uh, north, north of us, you have 36th Street that, leaves, that takes you over the uh, Julia Toto. That leaves you by 41st and Ocean, uh, and Ocean, uh, Ocean Drive or Collins Avenue. Um, the design district? The design district. Not too far Town, north Windward. of here, maybe seven minutes. So thank you for mentioning that. You yeah, know, That's huge. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. So all the Michelin star restaurants are located in the design district. Yep. You have the Wynwood area, you have tons of art galleries, you have tons of restaurants. And high-end shops. High-end shops. And then you have the Midtown area, it's kind of like a mixed-use area. So mm -hmm. there you have shopping, restaurants, hotels, condominiums, um, all kind of integrated with one another. And you get there within five minutes from us. And then Wynwood as well. And Wynwood as well. Which is fantastic with art galleries and restaurants. I feel like there's been a huge influx of restaurants that have even moved into Inwood. That's right. So, yeah. so people don't hang out in South Beach anymore like they used to. I think people now really like to hang out in this area. Um, even me, myself, you know, I had a friend of mine, every single time we have a birthday for someone, a friend or family member, we're always in the design district or in Wynwood mm -hmm. in Midtown. It's either one of those three spots. Really I feel exciting. that Edgewater has, it's really taken off in the last five years, but really in the past three years it's blown up. And mm -hmm. a lot of it has to do with the views. Because Brickell, as you know, is pretty built out along the water. So if you want these, these views behind, behind us here, you need to be in Edgewater as a developer. Right. You know? and, and, and buyers are, are moving their way north, and these water views are just, just breathtaking. Right. And how about the units themselves? Do they come finished, and what kind of finishes do, can people expect? So great question. Uh, the, the units do come finished. Um, the cabinetry is by Ito Craft, which mm -hmm. is an Italian company. Uh, the appliances are going to be a high-end brand, Subs Room Wolf. Okay. Uh, the ceiling height are 10-foot ceilings. Um, we do deliver the units finished with a beautiful marble floor throughout the property. Throughout mm -hmm. the property. We also finish the, the balconies out for the clients as well. So the units are moving ready. So the okay. minute the, the client gets their keys, they can bring in their furniture and, and move in right away. Here we are in the model kitchen. What type of interior finishes can buyers expect? So here you see our Italian cabinetry by Ito Craft, um, which is a very high-end brand. All the appliances are gonna be Sub-Zero and Wolf, also very high-end. Um, the units also come with a wine cooler. Everything, all the appliances will be integrated, um, including the refrigerator, um, the dishwasher. Um, in addition to that, um, all the units will have a beautiful backsplash. We will have a smoke mirror backsplash, and also a really nice exhaust, as you see over our our induction cooktop. Uh, as you can see here, you have 10-foot ceilings. So the units do come um, currently finished, and this is our beautiful model kitchen that you will be able to see in person in a minute as well in the building. What kind of material is this? Is great, this marble? Great question. This is a marble finish. Um, the units come with this marble countertop, um, which also, and they all, unit, all the units come with a waterfall as well. And I'm guessing these are self-closing? These are self-closing. Uh, as you can see, this is from Ito Craft. Mm -hmm. um, here you have a, the microwave, which also works as a speed oven. Here you have the wall oven. Um, and also you have the really nice cabinetry by, um, talent cabinetry by Etel Craft as well. Perfect. So what work would the buyers need to do? Uh, closets? Uh, cl clients would have to do after closing are closets and just window treatments. Got it. Okay. Um, the units all come with a parking space assigned. We do have a parking structure in the building. That's super important. Mm -hmm. The most high-end product today, is, you know, you're seeing that more and more. It's just valet. Valet. So yep. the fact that you still get a parking space that you can use is fantastic. Um, and also we have a rental policy of a minimum of six months. Okay, up that's to, great. You know, tw uh, mm -hmm. Up to uh, twice a year. Um, and one last question I do have is, where are the buyers coming from? Miami's gonna change. Miami used to be like a, you know, back in the day used to be like an investor, a secondary home market. Uh, post pandemic, you know, all the buyers tend to be from New York, Chicago, um, a lot of domestic buyers, people relocating to Miami, making Miami their full time residence. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Miami's gonna continue growing. Um, you know, as we know, there's a, more than 122 corporations moving to Miami of high net worth individuals, which is something you touched base on um, uh, just recently. Mm -hmm. um, and those people haven't gotten here yet, but when they do, they're gonna wanna live in this area. So oh, yeah. Miami's gonna keep growing and I don't see it stopping anytime soon. So I agree, I agree with that. So we have a scale model in front of us here. If you don't mind, why don't you point out the amenities to the audience and kind of showcase, like show them where everything is situated. Love to. 
So this is the scale model here? It is. It's a scale model. Um, as you can see, the building rises 56 stories. Again, 249 residences. The building will have one to four bedroom units. The, the way the tower is set up, you have 200 square feet of linear, linear feet in front of the bay. At the entrance, you have a double height lobby. Amenities begin on floors five, six, and seven. Um, there you have over 30,000 square feet of amenity space, which includes three pools. Uh, so not only do you have a pool hill on the east side, you also have an additional pool on the west side above our parking structure, one that's Olympic size, an additional pool, you have a tennis court, you have a club room, you have a barbecue area, you have a splash pad for kids. Um, inside the tower, you have the spa, you have the kids club, you have the movie theater, everything that you can make think of, um, Casa Bella will actually um, have within the tower. Um, our landscape architect is Enzo Nea. He did an amazing job um, landscaping our product. A, you know, so he's done over a thousand private gardens here in Miami. Um, and as you can see, these beautiful corners allude to sails of a sailboat. Um, so that'd be really quite stunning, the architecture. And again, it looks like a glass tower rising along the waterfront um, in Miami. And I believe so. you mentioned earlier, the front side has 10 foot deep terraces and the backside eight? Correct, correct. So the terraces facing the bay have 10 foot deep terraces and the one on the west side has eight foot, um, eight feet deep terraces. Um, so also very expansive. So you don't see that kind of terrace in most in most buildings. So all the parking is in this back structure here. All the, all the parking in the back structure here. And then here. the valet in the middle. Correct, and then we have the corridor in the middle that connects you from the parking garage mm -hmm. over to the tower. Um, and here we have the Porta Cacher, so you have the grand entrance, um, you have the double doors, and here we have the double height lobby as I mentioned earlier, um, right on the bay. So first Missoni residential building um, built. Uh, so really excited for that. And, um, and again, we have three units available. We have two units, uh, two units that are two plus dense, uh, available at 3.850. The other one's at 4 million. Um, it's about 2,400 square feet. And we also have the penthouse available. It's about 3,500 square feet with a huge wraparound terrace. That's available for 10 million uh, finished. Or if you like a design already, it's available for eight and a half million. So again, we just got TCO uh, for the lower floors, eight through 36. Missoni is a reality. Um, it's being turned in now. So we're excited to bring it to light and bring this beautiful building to Miami. And in a bit, I'm gonna be going up with Arlise Morales from episode 18. And she'll be giving us a tour of a little bit of the common areas and I believe one of the penthouses. That's correct. So my partner is Arlise Morales. You'll see her quick uh, in a minute and she'll be happy to tour in the building. So look out for that. Well, Rafa, thank you for your time. It was very informative. I'm sure everybody at home and enjoyed it. So thank you. No, I'm happy to do it. And thank you. Thank you for uh, taking the time to get to know more Miss Sony Baya. Uh, in a minute, you'll go up with my partner, Ardis Morales. Uh, she's very excited to show you all the views and the amenities and the finishes that Miss Sony will, get, will be able to offer. So you get the first look at the brand new Fantastic. building being I'm, delivered now. So. I'm very excited as well. It'll be great. Right. Thank you. Hi, Arlise. Welcome back to the show. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to Hi, show Lucas. us Missoni. Thank you so much for stopping by Missoni Bahia. And let me show you around. I'm going to show you uh, the penthouse that we have available and the two bedroom plus den that we have available. Come Fantastic. On. Let's go. Dale. So here, Lucas. So this is the beautiful penthouse at Missoni Bahia. This is around 3,600 square feet interior mm -hmm. and 21 outside. The terraces are 10 foot deep with beautiful views to all Biscayne Bay, as you can see. So this is the northeast corner. This is the northeast corner. This is the one that we have left. Mm -hmm. um, um, right now we're asking 8.5 million, the way it is, mm -hmm. right, uh, the, the unit. And if you want it completely finished, then it will be asking for 10 million. And over here on this side, we have the northwest corner. So mm -hmm. completely fl flow yeah. through on it's this a side. Flow through. The entire north side. So you have the sunrise from the east, the sunset from the west, and it's a lot of light mm -hmm. every time of the of the of the day. Yeah, very deep terrace is beautiful. And so if somebody wants to come in here and take it raw. You said eight and a half million. Yes, eight and a half million. Beautiful. Let's step outside and take a look at the view. Let's do it. It's a beautiful day today. I know. Great day for shooting this. Yep. Epale. Wow. Look at that. 
These glass railings are beautiful. It's amazing. And they did it on purpose because the idea is mm -hmm. that when you see the building, it looks like just like a glass mm -hmm. all over. So here, Lucas, so this will be the entrance of the unit. Every single unit here is gonna have the private elevator. From this entrance, it's gonna be your emergency exit. And once you go here to your own lobby, then you're gonna to go to the entrance of your property. Mm -hmm. And this will be the O2 line, which is, has direct mm -hmm. east view. This is a two bedroom, three full bathrooms, um, and a room. half plus den. Nice. Mm -hmm. And has a laundry room over here. Look at the laundry room. It's very spacious. It's not just the wash and dry, it's just a room. Mm -hmm. You have here to the other side, the half bathroom. There's the waterfall countertop with Beautiful marble. Beautiful kitchen with the marble waterfall. The appliances there are the Wolf and Soup Zero. All the kitchens are Italian kitchens by Ito Craft. Beautiful. And this is the den over here to the side? Yes. To this side, we're gonna have a den, and the den is gonna have a full bathroom, plus it has a closet. Okay. So you can actually enclose this area mm -hmm. and try to convert it into a three bedroom in the event that you will need it if you, you need an, you have another guest, mm -hmm. right? Perfect. And look how spacious. Very wide living room. Mm -hmm. And again, we get the... And the, again, you have the 10 foot 10 deep foot terraces. Deep. Beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous views. So over here we have the master bedroom. This is the master bedroom. That has the actual bedroom that is very amplio. The bedroom sizes are, are very generous. Mm -hmm. They're a good size. And then the master bath. And then you gorgeous. have the closet here. Mm -hmm. And then you have the master bath with the top that is separate from the shower. Privacy in the okay. toilet. Two head shower. Mm -hmm. And you have two toilets. Beautiful. These and bathrooms came out very, very beautiful. Nice. Split bedroom, so the other bedroom's on this side. So the other bedroom is gonna be in the other side. It has, of course, the full bathroom inside as well. Nice. And the closet. It's a very good size closet for a second bedroom. Mm -hmm. 